Hotchkid Falls office recording number one, made by Agent Michael Knock Neville, 7.14 p.m., August 12th, 1992. Uh, recording begins. Uh, Agent Sand Clover and I were the first to arrive on site this afternoon, having driven up from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, we expect the rest of our team to arrive within the coming week, along with most of our needed supplies, equipment, and instruments. Our first impressions of the town were mixed, um, decidedly. Uh, at first glance, Oshkod Falls looks like most other small rural communities, with farms and fields surrounding a small urban core of services. From what we could see, it's mostly bars, farm supply stores, a few restaurants, a medical clinic, and other basic amenities. We both observed a higher than expected level of disrepair and dilapidation to several of the buildings, um, almost as, as if much of the town has been abandoned. Uh, there were a number of storefronts that were boarded up. Uh, several of the buildings looked in a sad state of disrepair. Uh, we met with Angus Hargan... Wait... Argus Hargan wait at 2.30 p.m. to pick up the keys to our office, which had been secured in advance by Beta on a three-month lease uh, with an option for automatic renewal. Uh, the agreement did not stipulate the condition of the building, merely that we were not to remove any of the fixtures or put any holes in any wall greater than one-eighth inch. Uh, we both agreed that this was rather odd until we arrived at our office, to learn that the building was previously a funeral home, uh, complete with a small morgue located in the basement. Suffice to say, both San Clover and I plan to file a grievance with requisitions. The building smells, frankly, terrible. A uh, reek that I can only place somewhere between rotten fish and burnt pickles. Fortunately, the smell does not extend to the small apartment upstairs, which we plan to use as our barracks for the time being. As for offices, we've decided to use the various visiting parlors. Might be a bit macabre, but they are the only rooms big enough for all the gear that is to come. Tonight, we've decided to try and find a local restaurant to have some dinner and get a sense of the locals. Tomorrow, we'll begin to reconnoiter the area, try and locate the burnt-out mill, and just generally get a better sense of the place. Honestly, until the GRSs arrive at the end of the week, there is little we can do to actually start investigating the signature. If it's still even here. I haven't done the math yet, but I don't like our chances of finding a signal that was recorded over 30 years ago. End recording.